So in today's break week, we are in Edinburgh. Did you get more quiet? I'm joined by fellow Scottish book lover Jill as we go around some secondhand bookshops here and give you a few tips on how to find the perfect books in those secondhand bookshops and charity shops, as well as just, you know, share some sites for you to see whilst you're in Edinburgh. We might have started off on the Royal Mile, but our first port of call was Westport, via the Grass Market, which meant a trip down the beautiful Victoria Street, apparently one of the inspirations for J.K. Rowling's Diagon Alley, and where we also stumbled across an antiquarian bookshop named the Old Town Bookshop. On Westport you'll find a number of second-hand bookshops, my favourite of which is Armchair Books. This bookshop is a lot bigger on the inside than you'd guess from the outside and it's full from floor to ceiling with books of all genres. If you continue on to the adjoining street, Bread Street, you'll find another number of second-hand bookshops next to one another. First up is the Edinburgh Bookshop, another one that travels a lot further back than you'd expect from looking at the outside. And just a few doors down is Main Point Books. But special second-hand bookshops aren't the only place you can find bargain books. Never forget to check out the charity shop. Whether those be your regular charity shops with small book sections or dedicated charity bookshops like this Oxfam store. All of which can be found in Newington but a 15 minute walk from the second-hand bookshops. Just to be warned, this is probably what will happen whilst you're out book shopping in Edinburgh. So what are some of the interesting things that I've found in second-hand bookshops recently? Well for 80p I found Considering Women by Velma Pollard which is published by the Women's Press. Now I had never heard of this book before, it's a collection of short stories about women living in Jamaica, but I did recognise the spine when I was perusing the bookshelves as a spine from a women's press book. The women's press was founded a few decades ago in a bid to give more opportunities to female writers and they published some of the greats including Alice Walker. So being able to recognise that publishing house and that distinctive spine gave me somewhere to look on the bookshelf and discover something that I might never have picked up otherwise for a bargain price. But that's one of my favourite things about secondhand book shopping is the things that you can discover that you might never have picked up otherwise and give them a try in an expensive price so you don't feel guilty if you don't then end up enjoying it and having spent a lot of money on it. So something else I've picked up recently is Elfland by Frida Warrington. This was in a charity shop and I pretty much went through all of the books on the shelves and this one was published by Tor who publish a lot of amazing science fiction and fantasy works and this cover just drew me in. I thought that is the cover of a fantasy novel. Another thing I love to look for in secondhand bookshops are classics because you know that classics have been around for such a long time, there's so many editions of them that there's a good chance you're going to find most of the popular ones and a few lesser known works in the secondhand bookshop. So I recently picked up Aristotle's The Nicomachean Ethics and saved myself a pretty penny whilst I was at it. It's it's also great if you want to replace childhood favourites, so, so I absolutely wrecked my copy of Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix when I was younger because I read it so often that the hardback fell off. But because Harry Potter again is such a popular book, there's so many copies of them out there, I was able to get the same edition that I had to match in with the rest of the ones on my shelves. I've also over the years managed to collect some beautiful special editions of books. One of the editions of books I see all the time in secondhand bookshops are Folio Society editions which are quite expensive but you can usually get them a lot cheaper in secondhand bookshops and discover some really interesting ones. This is Short Stories from the Strand which is the magazine that Sherlock Holmes was originally published in. If you're a fan of secondhand bookshopping do share any of your tips 
in the comments down below as well as your favourite second hand bookshops because there might be somebody else living in or visiting that town who can check it out and I'd love to hear if you've ever found any miraculous discoveries in a second hand bookshop. If you have enjoyed this video though don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes of Book Break and I'll see you all again next week.